Today, we're going to be solving some practice problems in organic synthesis. And today, I'll go over a couple of problems just to demonstrate strategies to solve synthesis problems. For this question, we are asked to make this ether from an alkane. In order to start solving this problem, the approach I would like for us to use is retrosynthetic analysis or retrosynthesis. Retrosynthesis is working backwards. Looking at our starting material, you will notice that this is also this component. So the new thing that is added here is the OCH3 group. I want to find a way to disconnect my product into simpler components or fragments. So let's say I decide to leave this bond at this place. If I make that disconnection, I would have this as well as CH3. So here, I can just make this into a strong nucleophile, and I can attach any living group to this CH3, say PR. What this simply means is that my nucleophile can react with my alkyl halide, and that will, that will undergo an SN2, me SN2 mechanism in order to form the ether. To work backward, I will have to, if I react that strong nucleophile with CH3Br, that will give me my ether. Now, the next question would then, be, would then be, how can I make this alkoxide? Usually, you make an alkoxide by deprotonating an alcohol. A base such as LDA would do a fine job, or I could use sodium hydride or even sodium metal. Now, the next question would then be, how can I make this alcohol? So this is where it's important for you to write out different reagents or different reactions that you've learned, SN1, SN2, E1, E2 reactions, as well as some of the additions reactions that you've learned. For me to make this compound, it's possible that I might make that compound from an alkene. Since our alkene here is, um, is symmetrical, then that means regioselectivity or regiochemistry is not important. So that means any of the reagents that can add hydrogen and OH will work, such as water and catalytic sulfuric acid, or we could also use borane, sodium hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide so this will add hydrogen and oh across the double bond of the alkane so the next question then becomes how can we make this alkane from the reactions that we've learned so far we know that alkenes are usually product of elimination and in doing elimination reactions usually you convert an alkyl halide to um, alkane. So how can I convert the alkyl halide to, to the alkane? Now I need to use a very strong base. Okay, so if I were to perform an E2 mechanism or E2 reaction, I could just use a bulky base, potassium tetraoxide. This reaction will go through E2 mechanism. The next question then becomes, how can I make my alkyl halide? And remember that our starting material is an alkane. In other words, what reaction can I leverage to convert the alkane to the alkyl halide? So the reaction that can make this happen is radical bromination of alkane. So react that alkane with bromine under light condition. So this is known as retrosynthesis. So let's explore a different route to solve this same problem. I can also work backward. If I disconnect my product at this point, I will have this as well as the CH3. To make this make sense, I might just attach a hydrogen here and attach OH here. So this is another way through which we can make an ether. We call it acid catalyzed dehydration of alcohol. So this reaction will work under acidic conditions. Now for this reaction to work, 
um, one of the alcohol must be secondary or tertiary. So the next question then becomes, how can I make the alcohol? I can make this alcohol by looking for reagents that can add hydrogen and OH group across the double bond of the alkane. So here we could use water and catalytic sulfuric acid. Then the next question becomes, how can we make this alkane? In this case, I can convert the alkyl halide to alkane via elimination reaction. So again, we can use potassium tetrabutoxide. And this reaction will go through E2 mechanism. And to make the alkyl halide, we can just do radical bromination of alkane. There is another route through which we could also use to solve this problem. I may ask myself the question, how can I make this ether? So we know that we could also make ether by reacting alkane with alcohol under acidic conditions. In order to make the alkane, I'll have to react an alkyl halide with a base, a strong base. I can use potassium tetrabutoxide. And to make the alky alkyl halide, all I have to do is to react my alkane with bromine and light. So all of these strategies will give us the same product.